Johnson now to save the Orioles. He's had one hit in three times. A ball to him. The Orioles left 3 0 going to the sixth. That's the Baron on deck. Mets scored twice in the sixth, once in the seventh, and two in the eighth. A strike, one and one. The Mets fans now, over 57,000, roaring in every pitch. Gary Kuzman of Morse, Minnesota. Outside with his breaking pitch, two and one. Beat the Orioles Sunday, two to one. Leading right now, five to three with two down. Simone on first. The two-one pitch. There's a fly ball hit out to left, waiting is Jones. The Mets are the world champion. Gary Kuzman being mobbed. Look at this scene. their division pennant against the Cardinals. Here's the Met locker room. The Mets had five runs, seven hits, no errors. The Orioles, three runs, five hits, two errors. Sport Magazine has declared Don Clendenin as the outstanding player of the series. And he wins himself a new dog. And it was a come-from-behind victory for the Mets today. They were trailing 3 nothing. Stay tuned now for a recap, the celebration of the new world champions of baseball, the New York Mets, the final score. New York, five runs, seven hits, and no errors. Baltimore, three runs, five hits, and two errors. Can you get Gil? Uh, Harold? Yeah. continues on the field here at Shea Stadium and there's also Bedlam in the Met Clubhouse and let's switch down now to Lindsey Nelson. All right and here in the clubhouse it's Bedlam too as Mrs. Joan Payson the principal owner of the New York Mets is here. Congratulations. <laughs> it's yours Gil isn't it? And the commissioner of baseball Mr. Bowie Kern is here. Lindsey this is my most proud moment as commissioner. This is my opportunity to present to Mrs. Payson and to Gil Hodges, who are the two most responsible people for this team of destiny, for its accomplishment as world champion. I cannot tell you how proud I am of you, Mrs. Payson, Gil, of you, of your ball players. Every one of them made a contribution to this, every last one of them. And they can be proud of this because in beating the Baltimore Orioles, they beat the best darn ball club around they could beat. And I'm very proud of them. This then goes to the men. Roy Kuhn committing the commission now presenting this trophy to Johnny Murphy, the general manager, to Mrs. Payson, and to Gil Hodges. Step up here, Gil. We want to get a good look at you. It's a long step down, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful. And, uh, what do you have to say about that? Well, uh, first of all, I would uh, just thank uh, the commissioner uh, for this beautiful trophy and uh, 
certainly thank my immediate boss, Mr. John Murphy, and uh, just all the New York Mets, uh, Mrs. Payson, Mr. Grant, and all the directors, and certainly all the wonderful players that we had this year that have done such an outstanding job, and we must not forget all the beautiful fans that we had in Shea Stadium all year long. It's just been a great year, and thank God uh, it's over now. It is indeed. John Murphy, the general manager. Well, Lindsay, this is the happiest day of my life. I think Gil, Gil did a great job for us. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you very much for presenting the trophy, and I think we'd better remove this to a safer place with a little help because we're going to have a few things going up here. Here is... Just, just behind you, Commissioner, is Don Grant, the chairman of the board. Thank you very much. Thank our fans. We've been very lucky, and we thank the man up above. You Don, know. what is that dripping off of you, Don? It's a little champagne. I get it in my ear, but never in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the president of the National League, Mr. Warren Giles, who will be retiring after this season. Warren, you picked a great season to go out on. This is the greatest thing that's happened to baseball, the greatest thing that's happened to the National League, and the greatest thing that's happened to me. Wonderful. Wonderful. Last year. Wonderful. And you sound like you really believe it. And here's Mrs. Gil Hodges. Hello, Joan. She was here. He was here. The, oh, I just can't believe it. It's been a year of miracles, and it's marvelous. Really, really marvelous. It is indeed. And Herb Walker, the executive yeah. vice president. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Nelsie. And now we're going to try to get some of the Mets up here. Here we are, Jerry Kuzman, right behind me. That's right, Jerry. Just terrific. Johnny. Jerry, tell me, tell me first about that double that you ripped out there early in the morning. Oh, ball. you really hit, Kuzi. I always told him I was a hitter, Lindsay. <laughs> You've been saying that in Jerry Grody right there. Yes, sir, he can do it all, Lindsay. He can do it all. And, um, and right, right here behind us. Yes, sir. It's Mr. Happy Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> I was going to say happy birthday to Mr. Payton. <laughs> let's get Don. Let's get Don Clendenon up here. Don, what did you what did you hit on the two two pitch? I think it was a slide. I'm not sure. It's not a curveball. Didn't really care, did you? No, I didn't really care. Don, you had a great World Series. Thank you very much. I uh, would like to have done better. But like I, I told everybody from the very inception that we're a great ball club. We proved it. Baltimore was overconfident, but we proved that we're a great ball club. I think Mr. Mr. Payson has something to say to you. I have this. Thank you, sir. I have this to say to the whole team. Today happens to be my birthday, and who could have a better birthday present than these boys gave me today? Quite a present. It is indeed. <laughs> Don, when you came down from Montreal, people were wondering how long you were going to continue to play baseball. What do you say now? The season's over. Well, I have a two-year contract. I will honor my contractual obligations, and uh, I will play as long as I think New York can need my services, as long as I can do an adequate major league job. Certainly, we'll be looking forward to seeing you next season when we start all over. Don Clendenna, let's get Tom Seaver over here. Tommy, got to be a big thrill. Oh, the biggest ever. I tell you, that you believe in this? Look, here, my one of my bobos right here. Hey, it's going on, John. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Just ripped that one pretty good there oh. off the wall out in left center. Well, Lindsay, uh, this is the same ball club that been blown from the same field with the Baltimore Orioles, but we beat them. We showed them what we had, to, what type of ball club we had been all year. And we, we, we're, we're number one. They we're thought they were going to run us right hey. off the field, and we come to play. This is a right. club that played the way, this way all year long. We came from behind. We did it today, and you can't say too much. For this. <laughs> now tell me, I want to ask both of you. Tell me, now, tell me sincerely, because I want to ask you this question. You're down three runs. What kind of feeling did you have at that time about your prospects of winning the ball game? We built it up all year long. It's been like that, Lindsay. No matter what happened, no matter where we were, we were down six nothing, and Pittsburgh came back. And and won that ball game because we never put our heads between our legs and we always fought and it's the greatest feeling in the world. Well, Lindsay, we're, we're the type of ball club that uh, has scored late all through all during the year. We, we never give up. Uh, never. This is why we're here. Never. We, we get behind three or four runs in the late latter part of the ball game. We come back. Congratulations <laughs> to both of you. We both right. had a great year. We'll be back here in a moment. Again, the final score was the Mets five, the Orioles three. In a moment, we'll continue to review the events of today's game. We'll be back here in just a minute. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. That'll boy. We'll be back in just a minute. I'll give you the ball. We'll be back in. Come on. 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 Come on.
Yeah. We'll be back here in just a minute. Stay, stay right here. No, we'll I don't. Stay right here. Stay right here. I want to talk to you. Watch your pussies, Dan. Be back here in about a half a minute. Stay right where you are. Hold up, boy. Good, good, good. We're in commercial right now. We're in commercial right now. We're number one. Thank you. Huh? I'll give him a kiss. You know what time it is? You smell like a horse. We're, we're in the clubhouse of the world champion, New York Mets, and it has a certain ring to it. We have Tommy Agee here, Ron Swoboda, Cleon. And the mayor of the city of New York is about to make an entry here. Mayor Lindsay's coming up. What do you have to say to the Mets, Mayor? Oh, God, it's going to be the biggest celebration New York ever saw. <laughs> We're proud of you. What a lovely team. This what did, what did the New York Mets in this summer mean to the city of New York? It gave us the biggest lift that we've had in a thousand years. Beautiful job. How long are you going to give them a day Monday? It's going to be a big day on Monday. Big celebration in the whole city. Uh, the biggest, biggest you ever saw. It's going to be tremendous. The mayor of New York saying that Monday's going to be sort of a Met day here in New York. So get all ready for it. Did you enjoy the ball game? It's the best game I ever saw in my life. Never been happier. Marvelous. Mayor Lindsay of the city of New York. Tommy, you had a marvelous year and a marvelous World Series. Thank you very much, Lindsay. We were kind of off for the series. We knew we could beat Baltimore. And when they were talking so much, they gave us that much incentive to win. They were talking so much, they forgot to play. Right. Ron Swoboda was the last base hit, the biggest one you ever got in your life. Well, we've come so far so fast. I, I think nothing, nothing can really be said. You know it, Lindsay. You know it because it brought us here. It was only one of the things. There were so many things. Ron, you find you got the magic glove back. You got it all back. He can pick it. Who me? He can pick it. Can he pick it? There's my buddy. There he is, Rod Gasper, with a little, uh, a little something for the mayor here, and he's got to return the favor. It's fair enough. Come on in, Charles. Ed, oh, Ed Charles, come up here. Let's get the glider up here. Ed, you've been in professional baseball. Thank you, man. We're number one, Lindsay. It's a wonderful feeling. Wonderful feeling. And you were saying back in August when October rolls around. When October rolls around, the mess will wear the crown east side, west side. How about that, huh? Lindsay, what did I say? I said he went four straight, didn't I? Four straight, we did it. Well, you won four straight after you lost that first one. That's true. Buddy Harrelson over here. But... Bud, you had a great, great World Series and a great season. Thank you very much. I think it was a team effort today as it has been all year. Once or twice, one individual would stand out. But overall, I think today was an example of our game, of a team effort, and fighting back, never quitting on the bench. And it's just a great year, a great team, and I'm glad to be here. Are you staying in New York now for the winter? Yes, I live here in New York, and uh, I'm looking forward to this World Series rubbing off financially. Right. Bud, how are you? Our wife, the mighty world. What is I just trying to hit a single that time. You lead off hit. I just trying to hit a single and well, it just really? went out. Well, how is it now? You hit a home run off McNally once some years ago. Yeah, I got him in my book twice now, and this is the biggest <laughs> one. <He's... laughs> had to be a great, great thrill. Oh, I, I can't explain what was happening to me going around the bases. I just it was so enjoyed. I couldn't laugh. I couldn't keep a straight face. You know, I, I don't know what I did. You know, a lot of things were happening to a lot of people about that time. Oh, it's, it's really great. You know, the whole team is just a, a great team effort, and it's uh, been a, a wonderful year. All right. We're here in the dressing room, and we'll be back with more about the 1960s.